Will you sharpen that hook again? Now in the beginning when we started this off on the cut plug techniques on the bait, I was using a small bait like this. Mm -hmm. The cut that I'm going to show you now is called a Tom Walls Gus Arcady cut. Gus Arcady. Yeah. Gus Arcady. This is Gus. Well, that was one big herring. Yeah. Took no, after right. This yep. is just a fillet. If I was to take a knife and make a cut on this, I'd have a tiny little fillet. But when you want to use a Gus Arcady, big bait catches big fish. And as Tom Walls taught me, uh -huh. the cut of the side of the bait here is the most critical part besides the way I tie the knots and the hooks. So you just basically to make this, you make a fillet, fillet this off, and here's what it looks like right now. You need a bigger bait to do this. So I'm going to put this little guy away. Now we have the bait and the fillet. Just remember, quarter, quarter, quarter. Quarters? Yeah, quarter, quarter, quarter. A quarter down, quarter of an inch down. Quarter, quarter, quarter. Quarter, quarter, quarter. The first hook goes through. And again, fresh herring is important. Second hook follows through that first hole. Now is where it gets tricky. See these little pieces of 50 pound test leader here that I have? Yeah, I was wondering what that was for, Doc. Okay, what you do is you come down a quarter of an inch from the hole, quarter, quarter, quarter. If you just remember quarter, 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 you have it. Mm -hmm. Quarter inch down from the hole. Now, as Tom Walls has taught me, you need to just indent the meat with the hook. This will tell you the bend of the hook. You see how that's yeah, see that. indented there? Uh -huh. Now I know exactly, precisely, where to put the point of the tip of the hook. Right on the corner where the bend begins. Right there. Right there. Right there. Quarter oh, down, yeah. quarter over, quarter, quarter, quarter. Now remember these little feelers here? Yeah. I see that locks it on, doesn't it? It keeps the front of the bait trim it off a little, from falling back over your hook like this. Oh yeah. It works as a support. Mm -hmm. Now this bait is good to be fished when you have zero boat speed. Okay. But it'll give you a fast snappy action at a zero boat speed. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Well let's try it. Yeah.